Hey guys, it's Liza here and welcome back to Minecraft where today I'm going to be showing you how to build this farmhouse design. So I'm using it as a farmhouse, you could use it as a city house, it doesn't really matter. Just as long as you kind of fit it in with your style I guess. So without me rambling on, let's get straight on and started with this tutorial. So how we're going to start, we're going to take our oakwood logs and just place one pillar of four blocks high like this. Then we're going to leave a six block gap, so one, two, three four five six and on the seventh we're going to do another pillar then we're going to leave a one block gap do another pillar now we want these to be uh, double pillars so we're going to add another one here and another one on this side and now we're basically going to just leave a one block gap here do another pillar and then we're just going to do the same thing on this side as we have done on the other side so adding these corner pillars then leave a six block gap and then the final pillar so one more pillar here and then that is the basic size and shape of the house so now we're just going to go along with these cross beams going all the way along the top here and all the way along the bottom and we're just going to do this for the whole of the house until we reach the point that we started at And now what we're going to do is just add the space for the door. So we're going to delete these three blocks here. So we have this one left and these two left. And we're just going to do a pillar going up on either side like this. Now we're going to go to this side and we're going to leave a three block gap. So one, two, three. Then do another pillar like this. So we have this uh, three block gap for a window later on. So now we have this shape. We're going to go up two more blocks on all the existing pillars. So all of them are two blocks higher. And then we're simply going to just go along with the cross beams again all the way around the whole of the build. Like so. Now what we're going to do is just add another pillar where this beam is. So this one here we're just going to add another pillar and then where this pillar is here we're going to add another block here. So now we have all of this done we're going to start on the shape of the roof. So we're just going to add another two blocks here and two blocks here, adding another two uh, in one, so two like this, two like this, and then two in the middle just like this. So that is a basic roof uh, shape. So now we're going to make the tower go up a bit more, so we're going to go up six more blocks. So it should be the same height as the top of that roof that we just done. So going up six blocks on all of these pillars. So now we're going to start on the roof of the tower. So we're going to place one block here and then one up, deleting the bottom one. And we're just going to do this all the way around. So one block here, one up, one block here and one up. Now we're just going to join up all of these with these three blocks like this. Doing this all the way around. And now we're going to delete these corner blocks because it kind of looks a little bit ugly under here. So we're going to delete that. And place two poking out this way and then we're going to go to the other side and do the same thing so deleting these placing two like this so now where this pillar is we're just going to place another one poking out here same thing here and the same thing on this side and now where these pillars cross each other here we're just going to place another two blocks coming up like this and we're going to do this in all the corners now we're going to start on the roof of the tower. So we're going to start doing the same roof as we've done down the bottom. So two up like this and two in the middle like so. So we're just going to do the same thing on this side. Quite a simple roof design but in the end it looks quite nice. So now we're going to do some poking out uh, logs. So we're just going to place one here and we're going to place two on where the tower is. So these two pillars here and then three coming out here like this. So we're going to go around to this side and place two on the tower like this. And then this side's the same, so two like this, three coming out here and one here. This side is just two like this on these pillars. So now we can basically start with the cobblestone arches. So we're going to take the cobblestone block, place it here, leave a one block gap and place another one here. 
We're going to fill these in with normal stairs like this. We're going to leave a five block gap. And then on the sixth, we're going to place another cobblestone. But we have this kind of gap here, so we're going to just fill it in with some stone bricks. And then do the same thing here, so another cobblestone, then two cobblestone stairs like this. So on these uh, four blocks, we're going to place an upside down stair on each side with a slab on top. Then next, a stair like this and a slab in the middle. And then we're going to place two of these cobblestone kind of supportings and then one under here for the doorway. So now we're going to do the same thing basically, but we're going to leave a free block gap, then place another cobblestone here. But now we have this kind of gap that will be in the middle, so we're just going to simply place five blocks of cobblestone and then do the same thing. So the stairs like this, upside down stairs on the four blocks, slabs on top and a stair in the middle. Then the supporting stairs just like this. So we're just going to do this all the way around. So here's the same stairs on top. Here we're going to do the five blocks at so one, two, three, four, five. Then the stairs, upside down stairs, slabs, stair in the middle and two supporting stairs like so. So here is just the same thing again. So we're going to add these two stone bricks here and then just do the same thing again. So now we're going to do the five block gap one again. So we're going to add these two like this with the stairs, upside down stairs like this, slabs, two stairs and a slab in the middle. And then we're going to place a supporting stair here where that beam is. So that's that for this side. And then here is just the same as the other side with the three block gap. So two upside down like this, slabs on top, stair in the middle, two supporting stairs. So that's that done, quite simple. So now we're going to go on to the roof by taking our spruce wood uh, planks and we're just going to place them all the way along until we reach the pillar and the same thing here until we reach this pillar here. So poking out one and on the top we're just going to place one block on top of here and then the rest just going along the bottom like this. So same thing on this side. And now we're going to take our stairs and we're going to start with the overhang here. So overhanging one this way and we're just going to go all the way along and round the house until we reach the other side. So just going all the way along like this. Until we reach this point here. Now we're going to go to this side and place four stairs facing this way and we're just going to go along with these stairs until we reach the pillar here and the same thing on this next layer. So we're just going to do the same thing on this side. So now you can see that there's this uh, quarter of a block missing so we're just going to fill in under here with upside down stairs. and. Then we can see the quarter of a block is now filled. So now we're just going to place an upside down stair here and a normal stair facing this way for this kind of peak of the roof. And now for me this kind of looks a little bit plain. So we're going to add in a window. So the same point as where the, uh, where the pillars are for the door, we're just going to add two more pillars going all the way up for the window. So until we get to the point of these stairs here. Now we're going to delete these middle two and then place another two blocks like this. Now we're just going to simply do the same thing on this side, so deleting these three. Then doing the pillars. Then the two up like this, deleting these two back here. Now we can start on the roof, so we're going to add two blocks like this, two blocks like this. Then a corner stair. Then two stairs on top two stairs on top of here and a corner stair, upside down stairs under here. So now something I like to do is just where this beam is going across here, we just delete these two blocks and place upside down stairs like this. Now for the peak, we're just going to do it the same. So a stair facing this way. So it's the same as that one there. 
Now we're just going to fill in this block with a block like this. Now we're just going to do the same thing on this side. So adding this corner stair, two stairs on top, two stairs on here, corner stair. Uh, now we'll delete these two, make them upside down. Now the peak, so we're going to place one facing this way, a block, and then fill that in. Now we just fill in these under parts like this. And that is that done. So now we're just going to go to this block here and we're going to place a corner stair like this. And we're just going to go around all the way until we reach the same point on the other side. So kind of the same as what we've done before, just a little bit higher. So that is that done. So now we can start on the roof of the tower. So basically it's the same thing as we've done before. So going along with these uh, planks first, then we can take the stairs, place them all the way along so they're overhanging one, then two stairs facing this way, going all the way along till this point, then we'll do two stairs again facing this way, then just go along like this. Two blocks on top of the oak wood and now we'll just do the same thing on this side. So overhanging one block. Then two stairs facing this way, going along the bottom. Two stairs facing like this. And like so. So now we can go up uh, to here and we just fill in these with normal blocks. Like so. Now we'll do the upside down stairs. And then we'll do the same peak as before, so one like this and one like this. Same thing on this side, so upside down stairs. And then the peak. So now we're basically done, so you could leave it like that. But there's one thing I quite like to do. It's just deleting these three middle blocks of stairs like this, placing two as corner stairs like this then placing some blocks underneath to fill in the gap so the same thing on the other side we're just going to delete these three blocks of stairs place two corner stairs and then fill in underneath with the blocks so you can just see that there's this kind of half slab missing and it just kind of looks nice to me so next what we're going to do is just take some stone bricks and we're going to go inside for this and we're just going to fill in two here two here so we have this two block window same thing here now there's this uh, upside down stairs so we're going to fill in this with the stone bricks in here we're going to place on the bottom so there's uh, a window up the top here and then we'll go back outside and we'll do the second level so the second level we're going to start here by placing two like this then two like this so there's this one block in the middle missing same thing here one block in the middle missing same thing on this side and two here. So now we're just going to go and fill in these windows with uh, the grey wall. You can use white or any other colour, it doesn't really matter. Just depends on what you like really. So I'm using grey wall because it kind of fits in nicely I think. So filling in all of these windows uh, until they are all done. So two like this, and then we're going to go to this one and place two like this. Same thing on this side, and same thing on this side. So now we're going to take our stone brick stairs, uh, no cobblestone stairs, place one upside down here, one upside down like this. Same thing here, one upside down, one upside down. And same thing again, like this. And now I think we're basically done with that stuff. So now we're going to take some different blocks. So we're going to take some doors and we're going to place one door facing this way. Then we're going to switch to our glass panes and fill in all of the uh, gaps on the first floor. So one here, two here, 
and two here. So now we're going to go to the second floor, filling in these three like so. And now these are going to be uh, some fence gates. So we're just going to fill in these two like this. This one here, same on this side. And then this one, this one, and this one. And then this one here, this one here, and this one here. Then these two, and the same on this side. So these two here. So now we're going to switch to our fence gates, filling in these windows. And same on this side. So it's not really a warm house, it's kind of quite windy and cold inside because they're not very rich. So now we're going to fill on all of these logs poking out, we're just going to place these buttons. So same thing up here, placing the buttons on all of these logs all the way around. And there, so now we're going to take up our uh, fence gates, no we're going to take fences and place one in the middle and then we're going to place fence gates around like this and then two more fences on either side like this. Now we're going to go to the top of this roof by placing a fence, a fence and a fence gate in the middle. Now we're going to go down to this point and place two fence gates and a fence in the middle. And then round to the other side we're going to do the same thing, so placing a fence and then two fence gates either side. So again it's quite cold, but yeah. So now we're going to place some stone brick stairs in like this, just to add a little bit of detail. So another one upside down like this. Then we can take some cracked stone bricks and just randomly place some in, so they look a little bit different, so just placing, let's place one here, one in here, one in this little gap here. Same thing on this side, just randomly placing some. And then maybe one here, and yeah that's that. So the final thing we're going to do before the long part is just place in some uh, random stone. You don't have to do this but I think it looks quite nice and a little bit of difference to the just plain colour on its own so adding some stone is the closest I think to uh, anything. I don't want to do it in these one block windows. So yeah now the long part. So these signs we're going to place all the way along this part and then one in this gap now if we go up to here, we're going to do three along here, and then, yeah, you can do it around the rest of the build, so it's just the same all the way around at the same level, but yeah, that's that. So thank you for watching guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video, if you have then rate, comment and subscribe if you want to, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.